So if you are giving supplemental oxygen, you don't need to have a seal. So keeping it close to the baby is enough. And remember that the bag and mask, the self-inflating bag is not a good device to give this uh, because only when you press the bag, the oxygen flow comes reliably. So some gas flow does happen when the flow is high enough, but you can't rely on it. So you can use the TP's device with the mask kept a little away. The oxygen blender can be set to a higher level when you are giving free flow oxygen or you can give plain oxygen. Uh, Ambu bag can be used, uh, the anesthesia bag. When you are giving CPAP, remember that the seal is important. You can see the TP's uh, CPAP adjuster valve here and you can see the CPAP delivery on the machine which is kept behind you and make sure the seal is effective and the airway is clear. Positive pressure ventilation is needed uh, and as we discussed, because the respiratory failure is the most important reason to need resuscitation, uh, it's the most important step. So don't go on to the further steps in resuscitation unless you have attained open lungs. So PPV is indicated if the baby is not breathing, that is the baby is apneic fully, or if the baby is gasping, which indicates it's ineffective breathing, or the baby's heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute. The most important indicator for successful PPV is a rising heart rate. So the settings for oxygen as we discussed for 35 and above 21% and less than 35, 21 to 30%. So below 32, you'd always go for 30% and under 28, you can even go for 40%. We are still waiting for the results of torpedo 2 and so on, which will guide us better probably. The gas flow, you don't fiddle around with the gas flow because the pressure settings depend on the flow. So sometimes if you inadvertently increase it, the pressure delivered to the baby will increase and that increases the chance of air leak. So always educate your team that the flow doesn't change once you have set the initial pressures. The rate is 40 to 60 breaths, which obviously you will be delivering it. The PIP 20 to 25 centimeter of water, you may have to increase it. This is one of the areas where some people prefer a bag if the baby has stiff lungs because you can increase quicker seeing the response within breath to breath, but here you have to go in stages. You can go from 25 to 30 directly if you have a stiff lung in a term baby or from 20 to 25 directly in a preterm baby with stiff lungs. And once the lung opens, if you're able to get effective breathing, you can reduce it back to the same level. The peep is usually fixed at five centimeter in these babies. If the effective ventilation is not delivered, you have to assess if the heart rate is not increasing within the first 15 seconds of PPV, or you don't observe chest movement, the person accompanying should say that uh, the ventilation is not effective. So you don't go on with the same steps unless there is effective chest rise. And the steps of Mr. Sopa, MR Sopa, is to make sure you attain effective ventilation. So mask readjustment, reposition the head and neck. So these two were quickly done at the same time. As I said, you may need a shoulder roll at this stage. Make sure the mask is of the right size. If it's not, you change it and see. And the seal should be effective with the CE clamp. Uh, don't put undue pressure below the chin. The soft tissue may compress the airway as well. Uh, the next step is to suction the mouth and nose. Use a bulb shaker or suction catheter. If it is meconium stain liquor, this is the stage where you would consider uh, intubating and using a tracheal aspirator. Opening the mouth in UK, uh, the NLS trains you to use a Giddle airway. Uh, or uh, two, 200 jaw thrust if you have another resuscitator. In the NRP, it suggests using a finger to gently open the mouth to make sure the tongue is supported and coming forward. Uh, in terms of uh, pressure increase, if you know the uh, airways, the mask seal and everything is good, there is no secretion, then you try increasing the pressure. Maximum of 40 for term baby and 30 for premature, you can go in steps of five increment and give five breaths and assess chest movement. If no chest movement, then you need an alternative airway. Intubation is preferred, obviously, and if you have not considered a monitor, you can uh, put on a cardiac monitor at this stage. If intubation is difficult or you don't have a suitable intubator, you can go for laryngeal mask. In a very premature baby, less than 34 weeks, the laryngeal mask is likely not to fit, so you may use